Hey guys, my name is Hayek, and tonight we're playing Ikimu, Splinters of the Dark Shard. It's another very visually appealing game, that's why I chose it. The game itself says, in this awesome third person adventure, it referred to itself as awesome, but sure, okay. You will help Ikimu solve puzzles, complete tasks, battle monsters, the legions of the undead, and hugely terrifying boss monsters. Okay, sounds pretty cool, sounds interesting. This is by Cog Games Limited. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Shall we give it a go then? The star heart has been stolen. Oh no, not the star heart. Welcome, Ikamu. My name is Zoopy Zoop. Fair enough. Like a happy little little mushroom house kind of guy there. I don't know. I have been sent by the forest spirit to assist you in your quest to free your friends from the clutches of the evil dark shard. Let's see what this game is like. Whoa. By the way, it's not a 2D side-scrolling platformer game for once. It's 3D and very beautiful. That's why I'm playing it. Because it's showing me the level and I guess I need to get over there. And... Okay. Holy shit. <gasps> Ikimu. I'm an Eskimo, I guess. Or an Inuit. But you can't say that. What the fuck? Hang on. What the hell? Do I have two swords? Is that is that what I have? I do. What the hell? I'm, an, I'm like a, a cuboid-headed Eskimo. With uh, swords. Sure. What's these? I thought I picked yes for help, but I might have picked no. What the hell? Oh. Let's just... Fuck you guys. No music as, as yet. There we go. Oh, there we go. He's talking to me now. I actually just need to walk a bit more. Hey there. Zomblings are ahead. Remember the block and attack them. What? I didn't tell what button block is. I'm going to press buttons. Oh, that appears to be block. And that's block as well. Can you trigger us? Okay, sure. Blocking. That's a coin. <gasps> Blocking. Attacking. Blocking. Okay, so this seems pretty cool. Kind of like a 90s 3D platformer game, except I think it looks a lot better than like the N64 games. Could have a bit of music, but I'm liking the kind of ambient background music. Here's some horn sounds there. I think maybe that's music. Yeah, okay, cool. There's a zomba lurking on the next island. Whatever a zomba is. Oh, fuck, he's dead. Let's just hit stuff. They don't appear to be losing much life. Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. I guess that's the zomba blocking. Whoa, fuck. Holy shit. He is not happy. Bye. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, he's gone. Sure. Okay, let's just carry on. It hasn't necessarily tell me the controls. I guess maybe I'm supposed to have known them or whatever, but I can work it out. The fuck? It's like a weird jellyfish guy. Die. I uh, guess that worked. Oh, he's there. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting hurt a lot, though, by hitting these guys. Can I... No, I can't block an attack at the same time. <laughs> he just hurts me. Sure, let's just go over here. and guess this, this is where I'm supposed to go. An old... Sorry, an an old relic. This contains the power to heal. Use these as often as you can. Aha, uh -huh. going near it has, has appeared to have healed me. Cool. Thank you, Relic. Fuck you. So this is another very, very good looking game that I found. And usually, as I said, that they kind of um, blow me away of how amazing they are. Because usually games that look incredible probably are pretty good. But um, lately, as in like the last couple games I've played, they've been a little bit underwhelming. I mean... The controls are a little bit weird for this game. I mean, nothing sticking like it did in the last game I played. Hordes of zombies, that's fine. Fuck. Holy shit, I'm in trouble here, guys. I'm in trouble. Fucking die! I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Fucking take the hits and kill them all. Fuck it. Give me life. Holy shit. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just expecting something different from the game. Like, I'm expecting maybe kind of slow, easy gameplay platforms and puzzles, but I'm just being bombarded by loads of zombies. It's like, holy crap. Okay, they appear to have stopped for now. And I didn't necessarily turn the controls, even though I put the tutorial on. What the hell? Are you right there, sir? Okay. Can I do some uh, gardening now? Can't chop the grass. This looks like it's supposed to be important, but... Hmm. Sure, okay. 
But yeah, I don't know. This isn't quite what I was expecting. I don't know. It doesn't feel as polished and amazing as I thought it would be. But again, all these games that I've been playing are early access. So, you know, what the fuck? There's another Eskimo guy over there kind of glitching around. But yeah, these games are an alpha and they'll probably improve quite a lot. I mean, for an alpha, this is freaking amazing. I mean, look at it. I mean, even if this was just one level, this game is really good, actually. It looks really good. The controls are right. Got some pretty cool music now that that's kicked in. Although, I seem to be hurting myself no matter what I do. Oh, that is an Eskimo. It's a zombie. I thought it was an Eskimo. Or what? I wonder if this totem is linked to the thorns. Let's try hitting that button. Three times to do it. What the fuck? Oh god, I'm having issues here. Oh, the button is turning around. I'm being hit by lasers. Okay, let's wait for it to come around. Once. Twice. Shit. Thrice? Hang on. Okay, did it. Holy shit. Yeah, this is feeling, this is feeling a little bit weird and clunky, like... It wasn't really obvious that the laser was, was hitting me, and it didn't... I don't know. It is feeling a little bit unpolished, as I said, and... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe my expectations are a lot higher, or I... Whatever. I, I can only give you my, my impressions as, as I play this game, so... But it seems pretty cool, though, you know? I'm always, I'm always trying to be optimistic and positive, try, trying to find the good in all games. It does potentially sometimes lead me to misdiagnose games as being much better than they are, but you can, you guys can see what I'm seeing, and if you give the game a bit of a play, you'll probably feel it, the controls, the way, the way that I'm describing them. Hopefully, they, they, yeah, they are, they are a little bit weird, but looks like a shortcut. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, shortcut here. Oh, sure. Oof. Loads of zombies though, I mean, Jesus. And I'm being hit by another laser. Fantastic. Blocking appears to be infinite at least. I can't see when the button's coming around. There it is. I have to let go of blocking to hit it though, so... Shit, ow. Fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, slightly weird, confusing game. Am I back at the start or... No, I'm back here. At the healing thing, which is the checkpoint. I can say a lot of promise in this game. It just, it just feels like it needs a few, a few minor tweaks here and there to like make it feel a bit more. Uh, what's the word? A bit more uh, professional. I mean, probably is very professional. It's just I don't know. I don't like to say bad things about games unless the game is clearly like the worst piece of shit ever or something like that, which I've occasionally found. This isn't the worst. It's just. Perhaps it could be better. I mean, I was a bit confused. I suppose I should have had an idea what's coming along when I realised my character had katanas. It's like, what the hell? I think I hit that at that time. At least once now. There we go, I did it. Okay, so some of those vines have disappeared. Cool. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, whoa. Well, that was fun. I see, so that was uh, the way I could have gone, but I took a shortcut. Where are those vines? Over there, I think. Pretty hard to see. I've got this on um, beautiful setting because I figured I could handle it. You know, make the game look as good as it could. Uh, this way, was this where the vines went? Hmm. Maybe these were the different vines. What is that rrr sound happening behind me all the time? Rrr. I thought they were the vines. Maybe they weren't. Oh, hmm. Let's just see if I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. Maybe. Oh, maybe over here, since the coin's here. Sure. What are these? Oh, I guess zombies spawn around them. Oh, not another one of these things. Fuck me. Fine. Let's just try and get this to work. Oh, I can't fucking see where the button is. There it is. Right. Okay, I think I hit the button. I've got, got a tiny bit of half left though, so it's like, if I let go of block, I'll die. Okay, I see. So it doesn't always laser all the time, maybe? Wait for it to power down, and then try and hit the button, maybe. There we go. Okay, so I didn't know that. I thought the laser was on all the, the entire time, but I guess it isn't. So wait for it to power down. And... Fuck. 
I think I hit the button, maybe. I hope so. Shit. Okay, power down. Did it. No, I died. Fuck. Well, really difficult game. Quite of unforgiving. But interesting. I, I thought I'd give it a little bit of a play, you know. Didn't manage to complete the first level. I kind of, I got the impression it'd be like level one complete straight away. That I would walk to this thing and that'd be it, you know, because it, it kind of suggested that that was the goal, but no. But interesting little game. I, I might give it another go again, try and figure out what the heck is going on. I'll certainly keep an eye on it uh, for updates. Again, don't let my words necessarily guide you totally. Uh, try the game yourself, see what you think. Have a little go. I think this is the cool little game. I mean, the, the font, I, didn't, I was going to mention this at the start, but you know me and fonts and title screens. I love the Ikemo. I love the Ikemo font and like the way the logo looks, so yeah. I don't know, I'm one of those people that put a lot of um, put a lot into like that kind of stuff. I think if a game's got a good logo or a good title screen, it could be a good game. <laughs> but I don't know. Like it's like judging a book by its cover and what have you. I've been Hayek, this has been Ikimu, and I will catch you guys for my next video. Goodbye, say bye Ikimu.